ceiling. Let me know if you can see my screen. <clears throat> can you see my screen right now? Yes, sir. All right. So good morning. Our topic is plain sailing. So with plain sailing formula, we it is about the uh, quadrantal course, which is the letter C. Your point A is your point of departure, meaning kung saan ka aalis. And then of course, your point B is your point of arrival or destination. Okay. And with that, you will have a distance, which is the longest side. Of course, using the trigonometric functions that you've learned, uh, angle A is opposite niya is the departure. So na replace lang si departure, uh, si opposite ng departure. Instead of opposite, it is departure. And then this angle B will be the adjacent niya, letter B, uh, small letter B. Naman, okay, or the side B. And C, of course, it will always be the longest side, okay, or what we call the hypotenuse, okay? So remember the mnemonic so katoa. Uh, look on the right with my arrow. We have the sine force is equals to departure over distance. Wherein instead, it is so or sine opposite over hypotenuse. And then followed by cosine course equals to d lat over distance. Okay? d lat, gentlemen, cadets, because uh, if you travel from point A up to this point, uh, up to this point, sa taas niya, you will measure the difference of latitude. When you say difference, you will subtract. Okay? You will subtract, but the sign of your destination will, de will depend on the sign of your direction, kung saan ka naman papunta. The next one is your tangent course departure over dilat, okay, or opposite over adjacent. Okay, and we have an extra formula, the upper one. Nilagay ko talaga siya sa taas for you to understand. Cosine middle latitude. Okay, middle latitude meaning. It's just the arithmetic or the average latitude. So, for example, if you have two latitudes, latitude of departure and latitude of arrival, just add it and then divide it by two. You take the average. It's the arithmetic average. And equal to, it will be equivalent to departure over d long. Okay? This is an extra formula. Additional sa SOCA TOA. Now, with plain selling questions, there are two types. Laging dalawa, no? Uh, finding course in distance, ito yun. At saka, finding final position. Okay? So, kapag narinig nyo ang plain sailing, it's finding course and distance, and the other one is finding final position. Meaning, kung finding position, given ang course and distance. Kung finding course and distance, given ang initial position at final position. Clear? Now, I have prepared two examples. First is finding course and distance. Find the course and distance from point A, 60 degrees 11 north, longitude 07, 6 degrees 44 minutes west, to point B, latitude 55 degrees 10 minutes north, 080 degrees 16 minutes west. So point A, ito yung uh, inalisan mo. So first, we solve for the DLAT here. DLAT means subtract. So 60 minus 55, you'll get 5. And then 11 minus 10, you'll get 1. Why is it south? Baka tanungin nyo sa akin. Bakit ang sign is south? Because of the direction. Galing ka sa taas, 60, pababa ka, 55. So, you are on a southerly course, gentlemen. Okay? Kaya siya south. So, your dilat is 5 degrees, 01 minutes south. Now, 
you will have to convert these degrees minutes into minutes only, which is nautical miles. You just multiply it to 60. Okay, so five times six, it's 300 plus one, then it will become 301 nautical miles. Understood? Following? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, please follow me on your calculator. And also, uh, you may screenshot, you may copy, if you like, uh, para nasusundan nyo ako. Anyway, makikita nyo rin naman ito mamaya sa canvas para you have something to follow or you may print it out if you have a printer and then solve the laboratory tomorrow. Okay? So next step is the difference of longitude. Again, difference. Okay? 76 kasi point A, longitude A, 76 degrees 44 minutes west. Longitude 080 degrees 16 minutes west. Just subtract 003, 32 minutes west. Okay? <clears throat> Bakit west? Kasi ang west ay pakaliwa, di ba? Westbound ka. Pag sinabi mong west, westbound, pakaliwa ka. Ang course mo ay about uh, 270 or something. Medyo pakaliwa ka, di ba? So from 076 degrees west, pakaliwa yon kasi 080 yung longitude B. Okay? Pero kapag lesser than 076, the D-long will be easterly. Naintindihan? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, 3 degrees again times 60 kasi uh, in 1 degree, there are 60 nautical miles. So, you just have to uh, multiply and then you will get 212. So, 180 plus 32 equals 212. Okay? 32 minutes na kasi to eh. So, 32 nautical miles na to. Okay, plus 180 coming from 3 degrees times 60, 180 plus 32. Understood? Yes, sir. All right. Now we get the middle latitude. Okay, sabi ko kanina, average lang siya ng dalawang latitude mo. You just add and then divide it by 2. Ito na yung kalalabasan. 57 degrees, 40.5 minutes north. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to use the cosine middle latitude, yung unang-unang formula. And then, of course, you will look for the departure. Kasi given na si middle latitude at given na si D long here. With that, we have to derive the formula, which is departure equivalent to D long times cosine middle latitude. Okay. So I know you already have taken that in algebra, cross multiplication, and you'll be able to derive departure formula. So departure is D long multiplied by cosine middle latitude. So 212 galing sa D long na yon, times cosine 57 degrees, 40 minutes, 40.5 minutes. Okay. And then you will get, let me just move this up. Okay. You will get 113.4 minutes west. Okay, kasi yung longitude ay uh, westerly, meaning ano ka, uh, southerly yung course, but then pa west ka, it's because your difference of longitude is westerly. You are westerly bound, meaning southwesterly bound. Okay, have you, have you done this cosine? Okay, no answer means yes. Next. Oops. So finding course and distance continue. Let's continue. So we will use afterwards. Uh, nakuha na natin si departure. Look on the diagram, which is 113.4. Nakuha na natin si dilat. But we haven't solved for distance yet. Okay? And also the course. Kasi 
we need to find out the course and distance. So with that, first, let's solve for the course. So tan course, we will use tangent course. Okay? Is equals to departure over dila. Yan ang formula na yan. With that, uh, 113.4 divided by 301 nautical miles equivalent to 0.3767. Shift tangent. Pindutin nyo shift tangent on your scientific calculator. Equivalent to 20.64 degrees. Or 20 degrees, 38.6 minutes. Or magiging... Ano siya? 2038.6 degrees. Okay, so I'm sure naguluhan kayo. Papano naging 200 degrees 38.6 minutes? Now look on the lower right. Okay? Ang dilat mo ay southerly ka. So 180. And then westerly yung departure mo. Meaning nandito ka. So kaya naging ganun yung sign niya. Okay? 20 degrees, 38.6. Kaya ganyan. So from 180, since southerly ka, you add 180 to 20 degrees. So you will get 200 degrees, 38.6 minutes. Understood? So mayroon na tayong course na 200 degrees. Okay? Clear, class? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we solve for distance. Uh, distance, we will use sine formula. Kanina, tangent formula. Now we'll use sine formula, departure over distance. So uh, we have already the course, we already have the departure. So we will look for the distance. So derive the formula by cross multiplication, you will get distance is equals to departure over sine course. With that, 113.4 divided by sine 20 degrees, 38.6 minutes, equivalent to 321.7 nautical miles. And we found out the course and distance answers. Okay, class, did you solve it? Okay, now we move on to the next topic, which is still plain sailing, but now uh, what we will look for is finding the position arrived. Okay, given an initial course and also the given an initial course and also the uh, initial position and also the distance. No, your ship is on point A, 20 degrees 11 minutes north, longitude 072 degrees 52 minutes west, on course 032 for 238 nautical miles. Find the position arrived. So, meaning point B ang hinahanap mo. So, we've written 032 here and also the course. 3-2. Bakit siya naging sign na northeast? Kasi from 0, 0, 0 degrees to 0, 9, 0, which is east, okay, na, nandun siya. Uh, the course is within the northeasterly quadrant. <coughs> so, what we're looking for is the, uh, what we will look for first is the difference or the latitude. With that, we have to determine the D lat. Why D lat? Because there is already one latitude there. So you will just have to uh, add or subtract depending on the sign, and then you'll be able to determine the latitude B or the latitude of arrival. So with the cosine course formula equals to D lat over distance, cross multiplication, you will get D lat. Cosine course times distance. Kasi given na si course at si distance. So with that, cosine 32 degrees multiplied by 238 nautical miles, you will get a difference of latitude of 201 
0.8 minutes. Following. Okay. <clears throat> After getting 201.8, i-divide nyo or shift. Pakipindot nyo yung shift. Degrees, minutes, and seconds. Okay? And then, after that, you will get 003 degrees, 21.8 minutes north. Okay? Kasi kinonvert mo siya from minutes or nautical miles to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Okay? And with that, we have to solve for the latitude B, this one. So latitude A, galing doon, 20 degrees, 11 minutes. Your D lat is 3 degrees, 21.8. Now remember, D lat siya. Ibig sabihin, instead of latitude B, ang i-difference mo, uh, D difference of latitude na yung equation niya. So kung ang equation niya ay 3 degrees, northerly yung sign, so dagdag ka, di ba? Pataas ka. Okay, pataas pa. Kung southerly to, ibig sabihin, you will have to subtract. But then the dilat is northerly. Therefore, okay, therefore, paano siya naging northerly? Kasi 0, 3, 2 yung course. So pataas siya, di ba? Okay, so nakuha na natin doon, na-determine natin, na na-analyze na, na, na natin siya. So with that, 20 plus 3, 23. Then 11, 21.8, 32.8 minutes north. So, meron ka ng latitude B. Okay? Ang kulang sa iyo ngayon ay longitude B or longitude of arrival. Kasi yun yung required. With that, solve for the middle latitude because we will need the middle latitude for the next formula. So, middle latitude, just add this to divide it by 2. So, Equation yan, equivalent yan, 21 degrees, 51.9 minutes north. So that's the middle latitude. Okay. <clears throat> so first, after taking the middle latitude, okay, ito yun, we will have to solve for the departure, which is? We'll be using sine formula. Sine course is equals to departure over distance. So departure is equals to distance times sine course. Just cross multiply. With that, 238 times sine 32 degrees equivalent to 126.1 minutes. Okay. Why did we have to solve for the departure? Because it's the upper, uh, it's the more, much more lower latitude wherein it is going eastbound. Okay. And after taking the middle latitude, we will use cosine m lat because we need the d long since the longitude one is already given. Okay. Given na si longitude one. And na-solve na natin si departure. Ito yun, 126.1 miles. So with that, meron na rin tayong middle latitude from the previous uh, calculation. With that, we will just have to derive the D-long formula. Cross multiply equivalent to D-long is equals to departure over cosine middle latitude. So that will be 126.1 over cosine 21 degrees, 51.9 minutes north. Okay? Ito yung middle latitude, gentlemen. So, D-long is 135.8 minutes easterly. Convert it to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Pindutin nyo lang dyan sa scientific calculator nyo. Degrees, minutes, and seconds. You will get 2 degrees, 15.8 minutes east. Okay? Now, applying your longitude A with your D-long, okay, imaginein mo, westerly yung, yung longitude A mo. Given yun, di ba? 7 to 5 to minutes west. Nasa west, west na longitude ka. Pero, you have traveled, you have traveled easterly. 
ng 2 degrees. Okay? Meaning to say, mababawasan kasi easterly yung tinravel mo. Okay? Therefore, your longitude B will be uh, lesser. So, 70 degrees, 36.2 minutes west. Understood? Therefore, your answer or our answer is latitude of uh, coordinates of arrival are the following. Latitude 23 degrees, 32.8 minutes north. Longitude 070, 36.2 minutes west. So that is how to solve the, the plane sailing. Finding the position of arrival. Remember, there are two. Uh, finding course and distance and finding the position of arrival or point B. Ang plane sailing cadets are just used for uh, with a distance of less than 600 nautical miles. Remember, kindly please screenshot this formula and this diagram. You can use this and you, you may have to derive for whatever is given. That's the end of my presentation regarding plane sailing. Questions? Last questions? Meron ba? Answer. Answer. Okay. Now, our next topic is all about uh, parallel sailing naman. Parallel sailing. Okay, what is parallel sailing? Parallel sailing is it's a sailing along a parallel of latitude, meaning to say from point A on this point up to point B, meron kang parehas na latitude, gentlemen. Okay? Meron kang parehas na latitude. And with that, the true course or the course that you will steer will only be easterly or westerly, meaning exactong 090 degrees or 270 degrees na westerly. Either galing ka dito, papunta na doon, westerly, or galing ka dito, papunta easterly. The distance sailed would be, of course, the departure. Okay. It would be, of course, the departure. And this is the formula. Memorize only one formula. <clears throat> Cosine latitude is equals to departure over D long. <clears throat> Across multiply mo lang yan, you will get departure D long times cosine latitude. If you require D long, cross multiply, it will be departure over cosine latitude. Okay? Bring down cosine latitude here. Cancel, cancel, and then departure over cosine latitude. You will get D long. Okay? And with the, with the plane sailing formula diagram, just add up the D long. Okay? D long ay nasa taas because D long is based from the equator. While departure is based along the parallel of latitude. Okay? <coughs> First problem is the finding course and distance. Okay, let's solve for it. So longitude of A is 080, longitude of B is 110. Tingnan nyo maiging problem. Parehas na latitude ang pupuntahan at uh, panggagalingan at ang pupuntahan. A and B, 20 degrees minutes north. Meaning parallel sailing yan. Nagkaiba lang sa longitude. 80 degrees east, going 110 degrees east, meaning you are eastbound. Kaya sign ito ay eastbound. So there is a difference of 30 degrees. Okay, 30 times 6, it will be 180 nautical miles or 180 minutes. Okay. Then, meaning to say from longitude A to longitude B, we have already find, found out the 
true course which is 090 dahil pakanan siya. Tingnan niyo dito sa diagram. Point A 80 degrees. Kung ito ay 80, ito ay 110, meaning pakanan siya along the parallel of latitude. Okay? So D long is 180 minutes east. So departure is cosine latitude 20 times D long na 180 nautical miles. Equivalent to your departure will be 169.1 nautical miles. So mayroon na tayong departure at mayroon na tayong dilong. Ano ang need niya? Course and distance. Now we move on. So given na si dilong, given si departure, okay? At given na rin si cosine latitude. Okay. So yan, mayroon na tayong course and distance, no? Dito. Another another example number two is ang given naman ay initial position, course and distance, you will have to find out yung final position. Ito naman ay southern, nasa southern hemisphere ka. So your point A is 40 degrees south, longitude 010 degrees east. Ito yun. Course mo 270, meaning westbound. Westbound ka. Distance traveled ay 300 nautical miles. Ilan ngayon ang iyong or an, saan ngayon ang iyong point B or your point of arrival? With that, we need the difference of longitude first. Given na si departure, 300 miles. Given na si cosine latitude, which is 40 degrees. So 300 over cosine 40, it is 391.6 minutes west times 60 or convert nyo lang, press nyo lang, shift degrees, minutes, seconds sa yung scientific calculator, you will get 6 degrees, 32 minutes west. Bakit, bakit west? Kasi ang course mo ay westerly. Meaning, westerly ka. Okay? So, longitude A uh, is 010 degrees east. D long mo ay 6 degrees 32 minutes west. Meaning to say, nasa eastern hemisphere ang longitude mo, nag-travel ka ng uh, pa-westbound or pakaliwa, okay, westbound, going 6 degrees. Still, 10 degrees is much higher than 6, therefore you will just have to subtract. And this sign will still remain kasi mas malaki siya. Ibig sabihin, you did not pass the Greenwich Meridian or the longitude or the prime meridian which is 000 degrees kaya hindi siya pwedeng maging west. Okay? Pero kung mas malaki si dilong mo like 10 degrees 01.1 uh, west, it will become westerly. So with that, with this example, it is 3 degrees 28 minutes east. Okay? So we have found out the answer. Your point B is latitude, of course, given na dahil parallel sailing. Papunta ka lang dito. 40 degrees south, longitude 3 degrees 28 minutes east. Remember, this is the formula. Just remember or memorize one formula and then you'll be able to drive all the other two. And this diagram, okay, let me remind you, departure is based along the parallel of latitude, while D-long is based along the equator. Questions? Sir, pwede pa balik yung isang slide, sir? Ano, ano yan? Pwede pa balik po yung isang slide. Okay. Bago po yan. Ah, oh, sige. Ito? Paano nakuha yung 6, six degrees, 32 minutes, sir? West. Uh, if, uh, pakipress mo 391.6 minutes and then pag na-press mo na sa side calculator press shift degrees, minutes, and seconds. Iba sa akin, sir. <laughs> ha? Iba sa akin, 931.6 Okay, uh, ganito na lang. Uh, 
Baka hindi ano yung calculator mo. 391.6 minutes. Minutes siya, di ba? Hindi pa siya degrees. So with that, we divide mo siya sa 60. 391, everyone, gentlemen and ladies. Baka divide sa 60. 391.6 divided by 60 because 1 degree is equals to 60 nautical miles. You will get 6.5266. Tama? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, so sir. yung 6 degrees... Yun yung degrees. Yung 6 is the, the degrees. Ngayon, minus 6 on your calculator. Minus 6. Minus. Kasi nakuha mo na yung degrees. It times mo naman ngayon sa 60 yung 0.5266. It became 31.12. Okay, that is correct. 31.6. Okay, yung 0.5266 times 60 mo para makuha mo yung minutes. Kasi nasa degrees na siya ngayon dahil decimal, ilalagay mo siya into whole number ng minutes. With that, uh, 0.5266 times 60 is equals to 31.6 minutes. Niround off ko lang dito. That's why it became 32 minutes. Clear? Um, okay po, sir. All right, very good. Medyo mahihirapan lang kayo sa sign, no? Sa signing, but you have to analyze kung saan siya papunta. Uh, you will you can you may draw. Okay, you may draw. Pwede kang mag-drawing sa sa exam niyo or whatsoever so that you will be able to determine whatever the sign is. Okay? And remember, kapag exam, etong formula na to. Okay, baka hindi given, much better na ma-memorize nyo para mas madali nyo nang ma-drive yung ibang formula. Any other question? None. Okay, class. Uh, let me just take the attendance. I'll stop sharing right now. Okay, uh, I've taken already the attendance uh, with the screenshotting the, the Zoom meet. And also our meeting is also, will also be posted on your canvas, including my PowerPoint, gentlemen, para sa inyo. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, have a blessed morning. You may have your breakfast. Thank you, sir. Yes, Michael. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.